G'day, and welcome back to week 5 of TEDx Virtual Summer Camp. This week, our activities are focused on you kindergartners through second graders. Today is Wildlife Wednesday, so we're going to be talking about... Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. That's right, we're going to be talking about snakes and specifically about the ones you can find right here in Tennessee. We're also going to do a really awesome activity where you get to make your own snake. So let's go! Did you know that there's more than 30 different kinds of snakes that could be found right here in Tennessee? Now that sounds like a lot, and you would think that you should see them everywhere. But snakes are really shy creatures and try to avoid humans if they can. So what should you do if you see a snake in your backyard or while on a hike? Definitely don't try and mess with the snake or try to pick it up. Crikey, that was close. Definitely don't try and do that. Don't try to catch it and keep it as a pet. Snakes don't like to be locked up. And definitely don't try and hurt the snake. That is actually illegal and can get you in trouble. The best thing for you to do is just to back away slowly and leave the snake alone. Because snakes are actually an important part of our environment and can help keep nature in balance by controlling our mice and rodent populations. If you want to learn more about snakes, and specifically about snakes in Tennessee, you can visit the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency's website. It gives you all the information you need to know about the different snakes that live in Tennessee. Now, even though we have over 30 types of snakes in our state, only four of them are actually venomous. And that is these four here at the bottom of the page. The copperhead, the cottonmouth, timber rattlesnake, and pygmy rattlesnake. Let's go ahead and click on the copperhead. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of information provided on each snake, including what it looks like, where it lives, what it eats, and other fun facts. And there's also some pictures of the snake and a map showing where it can be found in Tennessee and throughout the United States. So I definitely encourage you to visit tn.gov TWRA to learn all about the different snakes of Tennessee. Now that we've had fun learning about snakes in Tennessee, I thought it would be fun to make our own snake. And you'll need just a few simple items. First, a paper plate, like this one, some scissors, glue, markers, some eyeballs, and a piece of red construction paper to make the tongue of the snake. Now the first thing you want to do is draw our snake onto the paper plate. Next, we will cut out the snake. And as you can see, he's already starting to take shape. Now the next thing you want to do is color in your snake. Now I, I'm going to do a red milk snake because those are my favorite snakes. They've got a really cool pattern and some really cool colors on their back.
And then the last things we want to do is add some eyes and a tongue. So let me put these eyes on. Now you don't, if you don't have these funny googly eyes, you can just draw some eyes on if you like. And then we'll take this red piece of construction paper and cut out his tongue. And then simply glue the tongue onto his nose. And there you are. You have your own pet snake. So that's our lesson for today. Thanks for following along with our Wildlife Wednesday activity. I hope you enjoyed learning about snakes here in Tennessee and learning how you can make your very own snake. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for Earth Friendly Thursdays. We hope to see you then. Oh, crikey! Oh, it's bite me! But she's still beautiful!